Welcome to our data manipulation tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question about aggregating data in arrays. Our viewer is looking to combine information from multiple rows into a single summary, specifically focusing on how to use the union of arrays as an aggregate function. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the input data. We have a table with three columns, name, count, and options. Each user can have multiple entries with different counts and options. Our goal is to group this data by name. For each user, we want to find the maximum count and the union of the options. This means we need to combine the options without duplicates. To achieve this, we can use the unnest function to expand the options array into individual rows. Then, we can aggregate the results back into an array using ArrayAg. Now let's modify the SQL query. We'll unnest the options and then group by name to get the maximum count and the union of options. Finally, when we run this query, we will get the desired output with the maximum counts and the unique options for each user. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To perform a union of arrays, you can use an implicit lateral join with the unnest function in the from clause, then apply array ag with distinct values to create a unique array of options. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you can't use unnest to aggregate arrays, you can create a custom function to concatenate them. This involves defining a state function that combines arrays and then creating an aggregate function to use it. After defining the function, you can use it to aggregate arrays in your SQL queries. For example, you can group by a key and concatenate the arrays associated with that key. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one. Thank you.